it. Welcome to this new section by which I want you to learn about one of the most talented pioneers in the American literature and his works to the realism movement. Of course, it's gonna be presented by Saiben Segura, my person in this case, and let's start. Recognized for his best known numbers of novels like The Portrait of a Lady, The Ambassador, and The Wings of the Dog will give you a key to discover who I refer. This is Henry James. Henry James was an American author regarded as a key transitional figure between literary realism and literary modernism and he is considered by many to be among the greatest novelists in the English language. Henry James was the son of Henry James Sear and the brother of a new philosopher in psychology, William James, and diarist Alice Jane. According to his work, he really liked to describe the internal state of mind and social dynamics of his characters, making use of a style in which ambiguous of contradictory motive and impressions were overlaid or juxtaposed in the discussion of a character's secret. For the unique composition, his late work have been compared to the Impressionist painting. James also published articles and book of criticism, travel, biography, autobiographies, and plays. Henry James was born in the USA in New York on April 15 in 1843. However, he was largely relocated to Europe as a young man and eventually settled in England, becoming a British subject in 1915, one year before his death. Also, James was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1911, 1912, in 1916. Being one of the most major figures of the transatlantic literature, Henry James works frequently juxtaposed characters from the old world needed, embodying a feudal civilization that is open, beautiful, corrupt, and alluding, but also from the new world in the United States, where people are often brushed, open, and assertive and embody the visions of freedom and a more highly evolved moral characters of the new in American society. Based on his work, he explored the clash of personality and culture. Furthermore, he found in story of personal relationship the power is exercised well or badly. So his protagonists were often young American women facing oppression or abuse, as his secretary Theodore von Skirt remarked in her monograph, Henry James Award, the following lines. When he walked out of the refuge of his study and into the world, and looked around him, Henry James saw a place of torment where creatures of prey perpetually thrust their claws into the quivering flesh of domed, defending children of light. His novels were repeated exposure as his weakness, a writer, and passionate plea for the fullest freedom of development and imperish by reckless and barbarous stupidity. Critics have jokingly described in three phases in the development of James Rose, like James I, James II, and The Old Pretender. As good writer in short story as in plays in this third and last period he returned to the long to serialized novel, but at the beginning of the second period and the most noticeable in the third period, Henry Jane increasingly abandoned 
direct statement in favor of frequent double negative and complex descriptive imagery. It is important to say that in some of his single paragraph probed by Henry James began to run for page after page in which an initial noun could be succeeded by pronouns surrounded by, by clouds of adjective and prepositional clauses. Far from their original reference, a verb could be deferred and then preceded by a series of adverbs. And that's why the overall effect could be a vivid evocation of a things as perceived by a sensitive observer. It's also relevant to mention one of his great work on its intense focus on the consciousness of his uh, major character where Henry James later worked for a shadow extensive development in the 20th century of fiction. Indeed, it might influence on the stream of consciousness writers such as Virginia Woolf, who not only read some of his novels but also wrote essays about them. They were considered a contemporary modern to that period. Despite his great effort for gaining a very well level in the society, Henry James confused that he got some of his best story dear from Gossip at the diner table or a country house weekend, and he worked for a living, however, and lacked the experience of select school, university, and army service, the common bonds of masculine society. In sum, Henry James was an excellent writer and as an example in the in the comparison work on James objectivity to Shakespeare made by Edmund Wilson where he said the following one could be in a position to appreciate James better if one compared him with the dramatized of the 17th century to Rizzen and Moliere whom he resembled in form as well as in painting of view, and even Shakespeare, where allowances are made for the most extreme differences in subject and form, so they do, they do not even blame God for allowing them, and they accept them as the condition of life. It is possible to see many of Jane's story as psychological thought experiment. The portrait of a lady may be an experiment to, to see what happens when an idealist young woman suddenly becomes very rich. Also William Dean Howells saw Jane as a representative of a, of a new realist school literature art which broke with the English Romantic tradition epitomized by the work Charlie Dickens and William Mark Pease Thackeray. Howells wrote that realism found its chief example in James. To conclude this, Henry James was one of the greatest literary was one of the great letter writers of any era. More than 10,000 have been published in a um, large number of collections. Very late in January, in Henry James' life, he began a series of autobiography works like A Small Boy and Some Notes of, the, of a Song and Brother and The Unfinished The Middle Years. Those books portray the development of a classic observer who was passionately interested in the artist's creation but was somewhat reticent about participating fully in the life around him. Well, I really hope you really enjoy this interview about 
the most recognized writer in American literature, which is Henry James. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.